Welcome! In front of me is an HMD Fusion and today I will show you how you can go through the setup process of this device. So when you put it up for the very first time you will be presented with a welcoming screen which is visible right here on my end and you most likely want to change the language probably. Uh, I do as it's in Polish so I'm going to be choosing English from the drop down list and it doesn't really matter which region. Now we can select let's go. So next page we have connect to mobile network and you can do so by just inserting a SIM card. It looks like this device actually supports eSIM which is surprising. Um, so that's one way you can achieve a network on this device. Other way would be if you skip this you also have the Wi-Fi connection page. Now if you choose to skip both of those now you will not have the Google login, the, or the Google login page won't show up through the setup process. Date and time will be sent, set automatically. And uh, I believe you also won't be able to restore apps and data uh, from something like a Google backup, as long as you don't have internet connection. Now this can all be changed later on after the setup is completed, so you don't need to worry about it all too much. Anyway, I'm gonna skip both of those. And uh, yep, setup offline. Oh, and it gives us a pop-up right here which uh, with the info that I have just mentioned. So here, are, here we have the date and time. You can fix it up if you want to. I don't. I'm just going to select next. I'm going to connect to network later on anyway. Then we have Google services and those will include things like uh, location, scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. You can turn all of those off if you want to. But let's be honest, it's Google. So they're going to gather the data with or without your permission most likely so I'm just gonna ignore this. Next we have unlock with fingerprint so this is a way you can protect your device. Uh, now if you choose to do that you will also need to select a screen lock and also if you skip uh, setting up a uh, fingerprint it will still tell you uh, that you can for instance enable things like face unlock instead of fingerprint or if I skip this as well I can select a just a screen lock and I can choose that uh, instead of pen, I maybe want to use pattern or password, or I don't need to protect it at all. Next, we have the system navigation. You can choose whichever one you want, uh, which you prefer. You have gestures and three button navigation. And I'm going to select continue right here. Here we have some HMD services. Um, you can go over them. Basically, they want you to subscribe to some crap right here. Uh, it's up to you. I don't really care for this. I'm just going to select accept selected uh, my device app. My device uh, is the app that helps you get the most out of your HMD for longer. Easy to run diagnostic tools. OK, I'm just going to skip this. You can do whatever you want with this. And as you can see, this finishes up the setup. So with that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.